The excitement in the drone community is reaching a fever pitch as whispers, leaks, and early certification filings point to the upcoming launch of the DJI NEO 2, a mini drone that's shaping up to be one of the most impressive lightweight aerial devices of 2025. DJI has a long history of redefining categories, and with the NEO 2, it's clear they're doubling down on making high-quality aerial imaging accessible to everyone, from beginner flyers to advanced content creators. The original NEO proved a massive success, showing that a drone didn't have to be big or intimidating to deliver fantastic results. It was fun, simple, and practical, with a design that encouraged creativity without requiring professional skills. But as much as users loved it, the first version also left room for improvement. Flight time was limited, the camera capabilities were basic, and stabilization wasn't quite at the level of DJI's larger drones. With the NEO 2, DJI seems poised to fix all of that and more, turning what was once a beginner drone into a pocket-sized creative powerhouse. One of the biggest changes starts with the build itself. DJI has reportedly re-engineered the NEO 2 with a stronger, more durable outer shell, while keeping it under the critical 250G weight threshold. This weight classification is no small detail. Under many countries' aviation laws, drones below 250 grain often don't require registration or licensing, making them far easier for travelers and casual users to operate legally and hassle-free. Leaks suggest the NEO 2 features a sleek but rugged composite material that can withstand more bumps and minor impacts than its predecessor, making it ideal for both indoor and outdoor flying. The double-layer propeller guard system is another smart addition not only increasing safety for new pilots, but also ensuring better performance in tight spaces, narrow hallways, and urban environments where collisions are more likely. The build seems deliberately optimized for people who want to fly spontaneously, without the need for bulky accessories or extensive setup. Under the hood, the NEO 2 is expected to feature a noticeably larger battery, reportedly upgraded to 16i60 Mike Weitler Ma from the original NEO's 1435 Ma. That might sound like a small bump, but in practical terms, it can extend flight, time from roughly 15 minutes to around 23-25 minutes under ideal. Conditions, a game changer for creators who want to focus on filming instead of constantly swapping batteries. Pair that with DJI's refined power management and flight algorithms, and we're looking at a drone that can maintain stable flight in slightly windier conditions, offer more time for complex shots, and give users a much more immersive flying experience but the most exciting upgrade may very well be in the camera system. DJI has long been synonymous with best-in-class aerial imaging, and bringing that legacy down to a pocket drone makes the NEO 2 particularly thrilling. According to multiple credible sources, the NEO 2 may carry either a 1-inch or 1.3-inch CMOS sensor, a huge leap forward from the smaller sensor found in the first NEO. This means dramatically improved dynamic range, better low-light performance, and overall crisper, richer footage. The NEO 2 is expected to support 4K recording at 60 FPS, giving creators the freedom to shoot smooth cinematic footage, slow motion clips, or fast-paced action with exceptional clarity. While it's likely to retain a single-axis mechanical gimbal to keep weight down, it will reportedly pair this with advanced electronic image stabilization, possibly incorporating DJI's Rocksteady technology. This hybrid stabilization system would allow even beginners to capture footage that looks polished and stable, bridging the gap between hobbyist and professional-level content. Transmission performance is another area where DJI seems determined to push boundaries. The NEO 2 may utilize the company's O4 transmission system, offering an impressive 10 km of range under FCC standards. Realistically, most users won't push anywhere near that distance, but the improved signal strength and stability will result in more reliable connections, fewer dropouts, and smoother video feeds. This is crucial not only for long-range shots, but also for those who fly in challenging environments like cities, forests, or mountainous terrain, where interference and line-of-sight issues can make or break a shoot. Equally exciting are the intelligent flight features that will make the NEO 2 not just powerful, but smart. DJI is reportedly integrating improved active track technology, allowing the drone to follow subjects more intelligently and smoothly. Gesture controls are expected to return, refined to be more accurate and responsive, letting users launch, land, and control basic functions without ever touching a controller. Obstacle avoidance, previously limited on the original NEO, may now include front and downward-facing sensors, offering extra protection against common beginner errors like flying too close to walls or trees. These small but important improvements speak to DJI's strategy, 
make flying feel as effortless and fun as recording a smartphone video. DJI has always been strategic with its product releases, and the rumored timeline for the Neo 2 fits their pattern perfectly. According to reliable leaks, the drone is expected to be officially unveiled in November 2025, with FCC embargo dates extending into January 2026. This strongly suggests a holiday season reveal, followed by early 2026 availability in key markets. DJI often uses this timing to maximize global launch momentum, and with competitors scrambling to release their own mini drones, the Neo 2 could dominate the market segment right out of the gate. Pricing is expected to follow the same strategy that made the original Neo such a hit. Reports indicate the base package may land in the 229 to 329 dollars USD range, making it affordable enough for casual flyers while still packing serious features. As with most DJI launches, there will likely be multiple bundle options. A standard package, a fly more combo with extra batteries, prop guards, and a carrying case, and possibly a creator kit designed for vloggers and travel shooters who want everything in one box. This pricing strategy positions the Neo 2 perfectly between entry-level toy drones and more expensive professional models like the DJI Mini 4 Pro, ensuring it appeals to a massive range of users. One of the most compelling aspects of the Neo 2 isn't just what it does individually, but how it fits into the broader DJI ecosystem. As the company continues to expand its suite of creator tools, such as the DJI Osmo Pocket 4 for handheld shooting and the DJI Mic 3 Pro for audio, having a pocketable drone that delivers stable, cinematic 4K footage will allow creators to build entire production workflows on the go. Imagine traveling with just a backpack containing a camera, a gimbal, a mic, and a tiny drone, all seamlessly connected through the DJI Fly app. This kind of mobility and integration is exactly what modern creators want, Fewer barriers, more freedom, and higher production quality without bulky setups. Of course, what makes the Neo 2 truly special is how accessible it's expected to be. Unlike many drones that require extensive calibration or experience, the Neo line is built for quick launches and easy control. The palm launch and auto land features mean you can take off in seconds, and the intuitive control interface is friendly enough for first-time flyers while still offering enough customization for advanced users. Combined with the improved battery life, better safety features, and enhanced flight stability. This could make the Neo 2 one of the most beginner-friendly drones on the market, without sacrificing performance that more experienced pilots crave. The cultural impact of such a product should not be underestimated. Drones like the Neo 2 don't just sell to tech enthusiasts. They open the door for families, travelers, vloggers, students, and hobbyists to explore aerial creativity in ways that were once limited to professionals. Its sub-250G classification and smart flight features make it less intimidating, while its cinematic 4K capabilities make it a legitimate tool for YouTube creators, TikTokers, and independent filmmakers. In other words, the Neo 2 isn't just another drone. It's an enabler, a bridge between casual fun and professional-grade storytelling. Let's not forget about software advancements. DJI is known for constant firmware updates that enhance functionality after launch. If history repeats itself, the Neo 2 will likely receive regular updates that expand flight modes, improve obstacle avoidance, and perhaps even add AI-powered editing tools directly in the companion app. Imagine capturing a flight, landing the drone, and having the app automatically generate a cinematic highlight reel, complete with transitions, music, and effects ready to post. This level of integration would appeal enormously to creators who value speed and simplicity as much as image quality. And speaking of image quality, the Neo 2's rumored support for 10-bit HDR video and decent light color profiles would give creators serious flexibility in post-production. Even though this is a tiny drone, its output could rival footage from much larger and more expensive systems. For travel vloggers, lifestyle creators, or documentary shooters, that's a huge deal. You could capture sunrise landscapes, bustling cityscapes, or intimate family moments with a level of depth and richness that simply wasn't possible in such a small package before. It's the kind of advancement that can change how people think about portable drones. In terms of performance, the Neo 2 isn't just about flying further or longer. DJI's engineering focus has also been on responsiveness. Leaks indicate that it will feature improved wind resistance, possibly level 5, allowing it to hold steady even in breezy out.